Queen. So we were just talking with Ben about, you know, he was in a sort of legit series where he had to be naked a lot, but you actually have to have the <laughs> sex. What was that experience of doing that for the first time like? Was it very weird or were you able to just get right into it with your, your dream <laughs> porn star? You know, people think that there's like a million people in the room like while you're doing it. But um, they literally um, threw me in a room with just Evan Parker and um, it was more supposed to be um, a POV kind of thing. Mm. So, um, so it was just the two of you and you were filming yourselves? And a GoPro, a GoPro is like in the room. Uh huh. So, um, it was literally really intimate, but like at the same time, like I like was loving every minute of it. <laughs> <laughs> of course you <laughs> Like were. how can you not? Evan Parker is so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So you did Helix for a while. Yeah, I was an exclusive model for um, about six to seven months. And you were like, I, if I fuck another fucking twin, <laughs> I need to just get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> I met with the owner of Cocky Boys at New York Pride about like two years ago now, and then. Um, we had to sit down and he basically expressed to me that he's like, you know, like, I followed you. He's like, I have so many ideas that, like, I want to um, bring to life with you. And then he's like, I have, like, the perfect parts in these um, movies for you. And I was like, yeah. I was like, like keep talking to me. It. I was like, keep talking to me. And, like, I'm that kind of person when I hear, like, something that's going to make my um, dreams into reality, I'm like, talk business, talk business mm -hmm. to me. And, like, we're in the middle of a club. And, like, Jason, like, if you ask Jason, Jake Jackson, He'll like literally tell this story to everybody. He's like my older dad. Like, he's like that embarrassing dad that's like super funny but super hip at the same time. And Phil's you getting your butt eaten? Um, no, not him. <laughs> <laughs> not him. He's just more the um, the business side. Okay, like the director uh, right. comes up with the storylines and stuff. <laughs> okay. He's he can't stay there um, in the uh, rooms. He doesn't like to. <laughs> okay. So he'll like go and work on the computer like while we're like actually filming scenes. Like suck harder, guys. I'll be in the office. <laughs> but um. This guy was like talking to me like from the side as me and Jason are having this serious talk and he's like grabbing me, grabbing me. And Jason was like, we're talking. <laughs> and like, I was like, I was like, keep telling me more. <laughs> like I was so interested about like what, like he had these ideas for me. And um, a month later I emailed him and I had just finished my contract with Helix. And I was like, I'm ready. I was like, let's do it. And then um, a month later um, I ended up relocating to New York City. And you became a cocky boy. Mm. Totally unexpected from everybody because I'm usually not what um, cocky boys like it was. Right. But now um, we've definitely expanded and opened up like a lot of um, horizons of what our models are. Plus you grew a little scruff at first there. I did, you grew I did, a little I did, mustache I did. I and a little I was like, something. I definitely, um, you really see me grow as a person, as like a mature adult. Um, you know, I went from a little boy to like a more of a mature man in a sense, because I still have the voice. <laughs> so I'm funny, yeah, very mature man. But, um, you know, you really see me grow and develop um, as a person overall. Yes, you do. You, see, you grow and, this, and develop And the scrub helps a little bit ways. for people little, to take it a little, a little serious. Bit of a Shave today, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that you're like, nice and fresh. Hey, hey.